welcome you all in this video uh, we are going to see the simulation of basic electrical systems uh, using matlab simulink tool simulation and model based design for this matlab simulink is the, is one of the tool uh, is required simulink is integrated with matlab and it is a block diagram environment for model based design it supports simulation automatic code generation and verification of embedded systems simulink provides a graphical editor customizable block libraries and solvers for modeling and simulating dynamic systems let us start with simple dc circuit as shown in this figure a dc voltage source is uh, of 100 volt is connected with a resistive load of 10 ohms so the load current is calculated as v load by r load that is 100 by 10 gives 10 amps now let us see how to develop how to model this circuit in matlab simulink once the matlab is installed in your pc in your desktop you will get an icon matlab we have to double click that icon once the uh, after double clicking this window will open in home tab go to simulink library this is the library of blocks for developing mathematical models electrical models so to develop a new model uh, to develop a model we have to go, we go to this icon click new model a blank window will open then in the library go to simscape sim power systems specialized technology so here you will get the components for modeling electrical systems go to electrical sources we need dc voltage source drag and drop it in the new window then a r load go to elements so here select series rlc branch drag and drop it in the model page then rotate it control r we need only r load so double click this branch type select r resistance 10 ohms we can re rename it as r load then dc voltage source of 100 then connect this diagram connect the uh, voltage load with the voltage source we need an ammeter to measure current so in sim power systems specialized technology measurements go to measurements there we can we can find the current measurement drag and drop it in the model page so connect the meter in series with the load a meter that is a block to measure current load current then to measure the load voltage voltage meter measurement block drag and drop it in the page then connect across the load
we can see the waveforms once the model is executed so for that we need scope so symbol link go to sinks there we can find scope drag and drop it here we need to plot current and load current and load voltage so double click scope you will get this window plot window here go to settings we need to we need to plot current and voltage so so i am selecting two axes history just unselect this limit data points to last click okay then right click access properties name first access as load current so it will it will appear here at the top of the plot then the second axis i am naming it as load voltage then we can close this window connect the first one with current measurement block then the second with voltage measurement block so before executing this model before executing this model we need to place power gui for that go to simscape sim power systems specialized technology there you we can find power gui drag and drop it in the model page double click that select simulation type select discrete there are three options continuous discrete phaser i am selecting discrete and sampling time we can define here uh, as a default it appears 50 microsecond i am using it the same for this model then click okay then go to simulation go to model configuration parameters solver type i'm selecting two types of solvers are available variable step fixed step i'm selecting fixed step then solver ange kuta so many solvers are available in matlab so i'm selecting ode4 click okay this is the simulation start time i'm going to run this model for 1 second so i am changing it to 1 then this is the run button i am i'm pressing it the model is running the model is executed now we can see the plots so auto scale i'm doing so the dc voltage across the r load is 100 volt and current through the r load is 10 amps so let us go to the ppt so as i said i'm using a voltage of 100 volt and the resistive load of 10 ohms so the current will be 10 amps this circuit is modeled in matlab as i shown so now let us go to the next circuit simple ac circuit here the circuit remains same only i am going to change the source 
from DC to AC. I'm going to the MATLAB window, library, SIM power systems, specialized technology, electrical sources. Earlier I used a DC voltage source. Now I am going to use AC voltage source. Select it, select and delete the DC source. Drag and drop the voltage, AC voltage source in the place of DC voltage source. Double click this. So 100 volt peak I am keeping and I am changing the frequency to 50 hertz. OK, click OK. Then run the model. The model is executed with the AC voltage source. Click auto scale in the plot window. So a peak voltage of 100 volt is appearing across the volt, across the load. So V load by R load. R is of 10 ohms. So the current is 10 ohms as I shown. So here we can zoom and see. I have given a frequency of 50 hertz. So one cycle is 0 0.02 second. That is 50 hertz. A simple AC circuit is also modeled as shown. Then I am going for a next circuit with three phase AC. So here VA, VB, VC, three voltage source with 120 degree phase shift. And I am connecting a R1, R2, R3 resistance with the voltage source, each resistance of 10 ohms. I am going to MATLAB window. So here first voltage source as BA Then VB control right click and drag a copy we can make DC each of 100 ohms 100 volt with 120 degree phase shift. Hundred fifty hertz zero hundred two forty degree fifty hertz hundred one twenty degree fifty hertz. So three phase voltage is generated. So this is R one of ten ohms. then R2 of 10 ohms, then R3 of 10 ohms. So before connecting the load, we need to keep the measurement blocks.
go to library specialized technology measurements we can get three phase bi measurement block drag and drop it So I am connecting the voltage source across the measurement block. Then load at the output port of measurement block. So the measurement block is connected as shown now. We need to keep scope. So one is three phase voltage. So I am renaming. I am renaming the access access properties. Three phase. I am changing it as three phase voltage source voltage. Then the next axis I'm changing as three phase current, three phase load current. Close the window, then connect the scope block with the measurement block. So first one is voltage, second one is current. So as I said, the model is developed. So before running the simulation, we need to connect ground. For that, SimScape, Sim Power Systems, Specialized Technology. In elements, you will get ground block. Drag and drop it in the window and connect it at the neutral point. Once the, once the ground is connected, then I am going to simulate the model. The model is executed. So we can see the plots in scope window, in scope block. So click auto scale. So the voltage source of three phase voltage source each of each with 100 value peak, 100 volt peak is connected to a three phase RL load. R load, each resistive load of 10 ohms, 10 ohms in each phase. So we get 10 amps in each phase. So a simple three phase AC circuit is modeled as shown. In next videos, I will be telling how to model, I will be explaining about modeling of diode based rectifier, thyristor controlled rectifier and about inverters. Thank you for watching. Thank you.